go to view and if you want to use any theme to your reports you can use it suppose if i use my theme like this my reports all will be used in the same theme the background and everything okay uh, you can also switch to any other themes you can whichever suits your requirement you can use it but uh, most of the times we use only the blank ones uh, we don't use all these uh, uh, customized uh, themes so this is how we can make use of all these themes okay suppose by default fit to page will be enabled here in the page view if you click on fit to width you can use actual size so what is the difference here okay let me remove this uh, theme so what is the difference between the fit to page fit to width fit to sorry actual size you will see so every page will have some uh, dimension that so every page will have the height and width suppose if you want to uh, set up the height and width you don't select on any of the object here like this you don't select any image you don't select any uh, text box you don't select any uh, chart just click on the uh, empty space in the page that this this white space where we build the, all the visuals reports and all this is called canvas just click on the canvas and go to the this icon format your report page click on it you can see canvas settings so by default 16 uh, is to 9 will be there that means uh, 16 uh, is the uh, height and 9 is the width <coughs> if at all you wanted to change any height and width you can change it let's say my page type size i wanted to be uh, canvas settings instead of 16 is to 9 let's say 4.4 is to 3 you can see the page size has been reduced you can see the edges with the, all these small small dotted dots the page size has been reduced or else if you wanted to see letter format letter size you can see the page has been reduced to letter size or else if you wanted to increase or decrease or if you wanted to customize you can give this uh, in a pixel format so this pixels are uh, used for height let's say I wanted to have uh, 5 sorry 400 as a width and 500 as width so you can set up how much size you wanted so this and all I will explain you one more time uh, while building the reports when it is required to reduce the page size when it is required uh, to increase the page size and all I will explain you that time so if at all you don't need this background so uh, sorry suppose you decided not to use this uh, predefined uh, themes you can also use under uh, page the uh, format you can come to the page uh, canvas background this is mainly will be always white space you can click this and you can change the color you want so let's say i want to use this color page color so once you select the color the transparency percentage is 100 percent so that's why you will not, you are not able to see the color i am slowly reducing the color you can see that once you reduce the transparency to zero you will see the full color 
so this is how uh, you can uh, change the page colors also suppose uh, wallpaper see what happened this wallpaper so actual page is this much only the blue area canvas size but half uh, out of the canvas there is some uh, space right instead of keeping that as a white space uh, we can uh, change the wallpaper color that will be applied there so let's say my wallpaper color i will choose the same uh, color which is suits to my uh, blue background you can make use like this the colors suppose you know, in the, in the wallpaper you can also give any image suppose in the canvas background also we can use some uh, images so let's say i want uh, i don't have any image to show right now okay you can uh, <coughs> so you can try with the image to see the uh, that image will be up, uh, applied the background uh, the canvas background in the canvas back if you select the uh, image in the canvas background section it will be applied only to the canvas if you select any picture under wallpaper section it will be applied to the wallpaper so let me keep my page in the same size you can uh, select this text box and if you don't want any background for this effects under effects turn off the background that will be synced with the background so let's say i'm going to apply the white color font the text box color is not available so i turned off the background since it is uh, only the introduction to the power bi i am just uh, explaining each and every feature here so uh, while creating the dashboards i will also explain you in practice where and all when and all what and all can be used so similarly mobile layout if you you can click the mobile layout and uh, you can see whatever the visuals you have you can uh, design here uh, that will be shown in your mobile also suppose if you shared the report to your manager your manager may not be available in front of the laptop he may uh, check that report in his mobile also so if you want to enable the grid lines you can enable the okay grid lines you will not be able to see let me turn off the canvas background it's a very nice so you can turn on uh, turn on the grid lines here this will help us to accurately uh, to position the uh, objects like uh, charts images logos text boxes and all uh, snap grid so this uh, this option we may not use in the real time so this is one more best option so lock object so if you select in suppose i have not locked this object i can uh, move it around or uh, if you share the report to anybody so even they can try to move it so select that object and lock it so now nobody can select it nobody can move it around so it, the it, the position will be like uh, there only so this is also one good option to utilize while creating the dashboards and then bookmarks bookmarks are uh, uh, it is also one important thing here to utilize 
so bookmarks we can uh, create to go to the uh, once we click anywhere if you want to launch any url your, your company website and all you can make use of the bookmarks uh, if you want to click one button if uh, any action to be happen you can use the bookmarks and the selection selection suppose uh, you have here two objects like one is text box one is uh, logo you can select here and here also you can select You're using the shift or control button you can click these two those two objects will be selected the selection and bookmarks together the, i will explain you in one more uh, class in very detail these are one some major uh, topics so like this performance analyzer also either you can analyze your uh, report performance you can sl sync slicers so sync slicer suppose you have one slicer in this one page and you have clicked here and the same suppose uh, you have a slicer here like a country uh, yeah india china us and japan france uh, having those values out of those values you have selected india same india to be filtered in the page 2 also means you have to use the sync slicers whatever you are selecting the same action will be synced into page 2 as well so that time you can use sync slicer please subscribe to my channel chetana pixel if you are not done yet request your comments on this video thank you so much see you in the next video